afternoon. This is our fifth day in Jeju. Today we started a little bit later because we're exhausted from the previous days. We will start right away with lunch. Our first plan was to get some udon noodles, but as always with all the famous places in Jeju, you have to wait. And the waiting time there was one hour. We're not gonna wait for food for one hour. We just decided to search something else. Just three minutes away was seafood place and there was no waiting time here, so we here we are. We have a sea view, there are not too many people, so just three minutes away, the situation is way better. Wow, can you see this? Look, there's a whole small octopus here. <laughs> wow. So this one is uh, seafood pasta and I had abalone bulgogi rice. Everything looks nice. Also, they have one full abalone here in my dish. Smells good, so tell me to down. To eat this octopus, they also bring you scissors and thongs so you can actually cut the octopus into smaller bits. Wow. So let's also try the octopus. How is it? Slightly chewy. And let's chase it with some spaghetti. Overall, it's a really simple flavor with some seafood added in, but they do have a lot of tomato paste in this dish. And also got some shrimp right now. Yeah, so it's not overwhelmingly fishy, but it does have a lot of seafood inside. Mm, but it's quite mild flavor, I would say. Yeah, they have a nice uh, generous amount of bulgogi in my dish. Abalone, there's only one. I thought maybe there's a bit more, but Let's first try the bulgogi. Really soft. It has a <clears throat> it's mixed with uh, sesame oil and also sesame. So it has a nice nutty flavor to it. And also let's try the same monster. This is tabalon in a dish. Mmm, so soft. I think it's been um, curled and steamed at the same time. It has a nice sesame oil flavor to it. But it's also really soft, not chewy at all. Mm. From a rating, this place it, it's totally fine. The view is nice, the food is good. It's nothing excellent, but still, well done food with a view. So, I would say when you don't have to wait, place is totally worth the visit. Sometimes on your travels you just have to take time off from the hectic schedule you have. If you're in a place like Jeju there are a lot of beaches. We just found one close to our lunch place. It has a nice promenade that you can just sit down. There's a convenience store close by so we just had drink, snacks and now we're just enjoying the view to the sea. So this is also the true re relaxation of any vacation. I have to recommend called kopok chips and this is one of the best snack in Korea in my opinion you can see that the chips are so airy and so crunchy they always come up with new flavors this one is the bean powder it's really really famous in Korea but the texture is so nice you just eat and so soft and crunchy <laughs> love this Kayong is stressed, but why? Why is she stressed? One, two, three. We're gonna take a small ride now. <laughs> She's really excited. Here we go.
it goes so close to other cars and boats and we're so close to the edge of the water it's a lot of fun only 7001 Now there's a small break, changing the music, and then we go again. Ouch! Ah, she's getting used to it. <laughs> it's not only for kids. When you see something in Korea, it's for everybody. That was so much fun. We recommend this. I'm gonna put this in the description. It's also close to the area you go kayaking. But this is way better. It's so much fun. We recommend this a lot. Sorry. And also we didn't have to wait too long, we're only 10 minutes, even less. It's for everybody, kids and grown-ups alike. Yeah. We made it to our new destination, Chongbang Waterfalls. Basically this one is in the city of Sogipo, but this one from all of the waterfalls we've seen so far is the highest one, it's the prettiest one in my opinion because it's just next to the sea, so down we go. <laughs> Fun fact about this waterfall, this is the only waterfall in East Asia that falls to the sea. It is really busy here, everybody's taking photos, everybody's enjoying, it's a great place to visit. It's 2001 for entry, after waterfalls that's it, then we're heading back. It's a hot day, so what else do we need? Best thing is, is halabong yogurt. Halabong yogurt sherbet to cool off in a hot blazing sun. Oof. So refreshing. And a slight halabong flavor also to it, so it's nice. Ah, I feel my body is cooling now. Ah. It's dinner time, so we're gonna have something that's almost impossible to eat in Jeju. We tried three times, two times, two times it was closed, now the third time. Maybe it's gonna be a success. It's gonna be American hot dogs. It's not like this place is super famous, it just was closed and it opens kind of on random times. Today we called and the owner said they will open at 6, so here we are, 7 p.m. Time to try some hot dogs. two hot dogs. I have chili hot dogs, it has fries on it, not fries there but fries here <laughs> and Kayan has cheese hot dog. Ah, looks delicious so let's enjoy. The sausage is big. 
Mm. And I also have some uh, chiracha on my mayo. It's spicy. One is cheese. So, let's dig in. Mm. It's such a nice combo with the chili and also the fries. <laughs> flavor is really strong, so much flavor and also a lot of good texture. I really like the onions on the top are not onion flakes, it's a real onions. This is what I want. Yeah. Mm. You can enjoy the hot dog and also chili cheese fries at the same mm. time. I'm gonna try the hot dog the Kayong had. Let's see if the onions are as good as you say. Mmm, mm, true. The onions had a really good crunch. Sausage is also so nice and soft. Today was a short day and a hot day <laughs> because we got tired from all the other days. But now, thanks to this hot dog, our bellies are full, we feel good. So, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, in everything in between, and we see you next time. Ciao! Ciao.